Taggers, this is Alex with your WACC TV News. Today's lunch is steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, peaches, hot roll, or a cheeseburger, breaded cheeseburger sandwich and Tiger Grill. Wednesday's breakfast is sausage biscuit with fruit, and Wednesday's lunch is mini cheeseburgers, fruit veggie confetti, applesauce, chocolate graham crackers, or pizza patty sandwich. The first Creative Writing Club meeting will now be on Tuesday, September 1st, in room R148 after school with Mr. Hen. Any student interested is invited to attend. Anyone interested in joining SCCLA, there will be a call-out meeting on Tuesday, August 23rd, which is today, from 3 to 4 in Y170. Come for information, food, and fun. Attention, anyone in, uh, get ready to start choosing tigers because picture day is August 31st. Pictures will be taken during your English class, and you can get picture order forms from Mrs. Bloom or your English teacher. And these will be the pictures used in the yearbook this year. Um, attention all students interested in Ultimate Frisbee. They'll be played after school in the front lawn of the school until 445 on Thursdays. And the first Ultimate Frisbee call-out will be this Thursday. So remember, Ultimate Frisbee, the sport for everyone. Um, if you're interested in robotics, join the Warsaw Robotics Club. It will be held in Y177, held after school on Monday, August 29th until 4. If you cannot attend but want to participate, please see Mrs. Rich Creek. Well, guys, this is Alex, and now on to Jared with sports. Hello, I'm Jared and I have your WACC sports updates from last night. The girls volleyball team smashed Mishawaka Marion last night 25-19 and 25-15. Varsity had a total of 10 aces and let me tell you, these girls are on. Great job girls. Boys tennis went head-to-head -head against Mishawaka Marion last night and annihilated them 4-1. Standouts for the Tigers were Viraj Gokali, Keaton Joyner and Jack Julie who completely just ran through the competition. These guys are winning, thrilling, and ready to go. Let's go, Tigers. Upcoming sports for tonight, we have boys freshman football going up against Columbia City to see if Bumgarner's prodigies are willing to get redemptions for the Tigers. The girls' volleyball team is fitting to win tonight at Northfield with a start time at 5.30. They're spiking through the competition one kill at a time. I've talked to some of the girls, and it's not looking good for Northfield tonight. And last but not least, we have girls junior varsity soccer action at home tonight with a start time at 6.45 against Plymouth. It looks like Plymouth Rockies are turning into softies tonight. We also have some sports announcements. Any freshman interested in playing softball needs to stop by room B206 to see Coach Spiker this week. Well, Tigers, that's all the sports I have for you today. Now it's time to This Day in History. This is Caleb Mann with your Day in History. In 1914, World War I heats up as Japan declares war on Germany. Also, in 1933, first live TV boxing match including Archie Sexton and Laurie Raidery in London. Six years later, in 1939, USSR and Germany signed a non-aggression pact. In 1970, communists take over Laos. And finally, in 2010, heavy winds knocked down the Anne Frank tree in Amsterdam, breaking off approximately one meter above the ground. This has been Caleb Mann with your day in history. Have a great day, Tigers. Before 75.